Welcome back to Luke Goblin Fishing. Welcome back, welcome back. Today I have a treat, a $700 unboxing. I bought everything I needed for a punching rig. I mean everything. Probably more than I needed. But I got a box from Tackle Warehouse. Big old rod tube here. I think uh, I'm going to get to the rod first. If you guys are just tuning in, I... I tend to have good luck with these unboxing videos. Um, you guys like to respond it, which just tells me y'all are a bunch of uh, tackle junkies, just like I am. Um, I collect tackle. I just want to have everything for everything. Um, this entire unboxing is technique specific, so it's not flipping. I mean, you could flip with it, but it's not flipping. It's punching, S specifically punching. That's what I was going for here. So this, I'm gonna start with the rod. Um, I'm not sponsored by Tackle Warehouse at all. If anyone from Tackle Warehouse is watching this, I would love to be sponsored by you guys, so feel free to hit me up. Um, I'm also on Instagram, Luke Goblin Fishing. But we're gonna crack in here and see what we got. I know what I have, but I've never looked at it or held one. Apparently I never will, either. Eh. Yeah, got it. Got it. Chill. What do we got here? We got multiple things. I thought this was a one piece rod, but I'm feeling multiple things already. So, super confused. Right off the bat, super confused. Um, I do absolutely love two piece rods, but I could not find a punching rod that was two pieces. Um, the one I bought, I thought, was one piece. Two pieces here. So, either I have two rods, or somehow they magically knew I wanted a two piece rod, and that's what I have. So, let's see what we got. Or, or it's a one-piece rod with a de detached handle. That's cool too. So that's the handle. Casting rod giveaway right there. Ooh, this is slick. So your reel actually goes on this. That's pretty slick. That way I can put my reel on here when I'm not using it. I can just bundle my reel up on this little piece. And then I have the rod that I can kind of put a sock on, call it, be nice, nice and pretty. Of course they taped up the end here, real nice so my eyes don't get busted. We'll get her off, be worried. I, I can sense you worrying, don't worry, I'll, I'll get it off. Promise. Promises. Alright. Got it. So this, if it's the correct one, it is. Yep, it's Bub's Punch Rod. Bub's Punch Rod. This thing's cool. So, your punch rod should not cost $550, says the tag. Uh, I think I paid $120 for this. My cat is eating the plastic. I do not recommend Maine Coon Cats. They eat plastic, and then you have to bring them to the vet and pay $300 for them to do nothing and give you medication so they stop. But anyway, these rods should not cost $550. It should not snap, snap under pressure. It shouldn't straighten hooks, and you shouldn't have to be a body builder to use it. It should be very sensitive. It should be very tough. It should be very easy to use. It should be very affordable. It should be able to handle a lake, lake record for you, and even in the thickest crap, this one should do. And that was the direct message from Bub, and this is Bub's Punch Rod. I really like this. This is a Genesis 3 rod. They're very highly rated. Um, it's the Genesis 3 I Rod Bub's Punch Rod. Take a look at this. What are we? How does this. Oh, I see. The whole thing seats right in there. So if you see this part, let's see if I can focus here. No, maybe. Okay, this whole part here seats into the handle. That's pretty fancy. I think after I put this in, though, honestly, I'm probably not gonna ever remove it. Oh, that felt that felt so good going in. Let me tell you. 
I just did. I just told you. Man, I really like this rod. This rod's really nice. So this is my punching rod. Um, it should handle a ton. It's a 7 foot 11 inch, almost 8 foot. Lure weight up to 2 ounces, and I, I want to stick under 2 anyway. Um, I'm in New England, so the weeds get bad here, but it's not like Florida bad. Um, so I definitely have your overgrown ponds and stuff, and I'm definitely, there's places to flip everywhere I go. Um, this is going to be great. I, I've never really punched before, um, to be honest with you. I've done a ton of flipping, but that won't do anything to get under weeds. Anyway, this uh, takes up to 70 pound braid. I'm using 65 pound. Lure weight up to 2 ounces, 7 foot 11. Really nice. Really nice. I'm really digging this. I'm stoked on that rod. Alright, now I'm getting right into the box here. Thank you for sticking sticking around this far. If you've been here this far already and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If it's red, it's the wrong color, so tap it until it's not red anymore. And then you can keep tapping it over and over again, and you'll unsubscribe, but then it'll turn red. So hit it again, and if it's red, and then and you're doing it wrong. So hit it, and if it's not red, you're good. Can't open boxes, apparently. Also, if you haven't seen my short, go onto my channel. I just caught a 5.8 pounder two days ago. Um, but because I was so excited, I was swearing a lot. Apparently when you swear a lot, YouTube doesn't like that. And they're not showing anybody my video. Even though it's 5.8 pounds, YouTube doesn't care that it's 5.8 pounds. Anyway. Got my packing list. As you can see, it's super long. Super duper long. I did the rod, so now I'm going to do the reel before I get into all the uh, actual tackle. So the reel I chose, I wanted to make sure I had an incredibly strong drag. I wanted to make sure it could withstand a lot of beating because I'm, I'm tough on my equipment. They're tools. At the end of the day, they're tools, and I beat the crap out of them just like any other tool I have, including my truck. But we won't talk about that. Anyway, this one has... Well, here it is. It's the 13 Fishing Concept Z3. This thing has no bearings. They have their own version of bearings with uh, stainless steel, so no rust. Uh, virtually maintenance free, as I've been told. Um, also comes in left handed only, which is fine by me because I reel left handed. And they have a special braking system in this, which is like zero slip braking or something. It's like. It's what brakes used to be on cars before analog brakes, like you hit the, the brakes and your car will do everything in its power to stop and even like twist your car around to stop. Nowadays, analog brakes, you push the brakes and it equally distributes power throughout the wheels until you slowly stop. That thing sucks. This is old school. This is sick, let me tell you. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy already. I can't wait to try this out. Ooh, it has flake in it. So this has like a pearl flake. I thought this thing was going to be red like uh, like those red stormtroopers in Star Wars. It looked like they're, they're like candy apple red helmets. Um, but this has like an orange hue to it and it's got this pearl with some sparkles in there. This is beautiful, let me tell you man, holy cow. What a beautiful reel. I can't wait to try this thing out. Yeah, 13 Fishing Concept Z3. This thing is a beast, absolute beast. You get a switch on the bottom, so there's not a ton of moving parts in this, which helps you in the longevity of your reel and less maintenance, but you flip the button, see if I, I mean, like I've, obviously I've never done it, so we'll flip the button, and then this thing should pop out, yep, okay, so this also is always connected. You're never going to accidentally pop this open and lose it. Um, inside you have your braking controls, Let's see if I can get this to focus on those braking controls. Nope, not going to focus. Anyway, there's a break in there. Looks like just any other break, pretty much. Um, I'm going to screw with mine later. But basically, you have 0 through 6, so you have 7 different breaks. Closing her back up. Flip the switch is not automatic, so I'm closing it manually and flipping the switch manually. And that locks it into place. Oh, yeah. 
Beautiful. Okay. Moving on. I hope you like that reel. I'm super stoked on that reel. 13 Fishing Concept Z3. I watched a, a video, a comparison video between that and the Curado DC, and it actually outcasted the DC. And that's pretty much all the DC is known for is castability. Um, I mean, I guess they kind of focus on lure weight as well, like having really light, like just a weightless Senko on there and being able to cast it. Um, but even so, with, I think they had a quarter ounce peg or an eighth ounce peg Senko on the test. They had the same exact thing on both sides, same exact break on both sides. The Z3 outcasts the Curado every time. And as much as I love the DC technology, I have it in my, uh, my SLX DC. And I love it, but at the same time, this this reel, man, I, I wanted it specifically for punching. I'm probably gonna throw frogs and swim baits with it as well, but uh, I think this is this is gonna be a huge upgrade for me uh, as a fisherman, and hopefully for the content you guys watch as well. Um, I'm gonna get into this box now. The rest of this box is all tackle, terminal tackle, soft plastics, jigs. Um, there's two things in this box that are not punching related, and I actually see them right on top, so I'm going to get them out of the way. These are, yeah, they are Mega Bass. The Mega Bass Big Gabo, I think I'm saying that right, Gabbit maybe, G-A-B-O-T. Um, I was told that these are the best frogs on the market. I like them because they're super huge, and when I'm frog fishing, I have a terrible time hooking small fish, um, even when I'm using a small frog, and it drives me bananas. So go big or go home. And that is the big gabo, is what I'm calling it, but it has a T. I'm, I'm calling it a silent T, personally. Um, it's got like a foaminess to it when you squish it. It's not super soft, but it's soft. It's definitely softer than the Guggen frogs. Um, which I've got to be straight up honest with you, I have never caught a fish on a Guggen uh, frog, ever. They're, they're so hard, I don't understand how anyone could catch fish on those. But this is like just soft enough, so it's a heavier plastic at the same time as it is squishy still. But that heavier plastic is going to make me be able to huck this thing. I want to get some distance on it, because uh, yeah, I want to get it out there and cover as much water as possible. I'm really digging this. I got a blue and black one and a white one with a little bit of orange on the bottom. Super, st I'm, I'm just so stoked right now, guys. This this unboxing is tremendous. Also, the thing that funded this is I actually sold all my most of my guns. I just came to find out that I haven't shot my guns in like over a year, but I go fishing like six times a week. So like, what am I doing here? Um, I have my pistol for for carrying so I can still protect myself and my family but uh yeah I'm gonna have I'm gonna have way more use out of this tackle next up is Z-Man Plastics I've got the Palmetto Bugs these are black and red flake I'll open one up for you real quick these are that Elastec so they're super stretchy just your you know your run of the mill craw um thing I was looking for with all of these is the taper. Um, like I said, I've never punched before, so everything that I bought here is really just recommendations from other people that I've seen um, explaining punching. But basically you want that taper um, so that it actually pierces through the mat better. Um, the more bulky this part is, which is the part going down, um, the more likely you are to catch weeds and shit. And if you have weeds all over everything, it's, your fish isn't going to put it in its mouth after. <laughs> Giggity. Anyway, this is the California Craw color from Z-Man. Ten times tough Elastex. Those are going to be pretty fun to use because they last forever. Um, I bought two of everything, so excuse me while I make sure I grab both packages out of here so I'm not explaining the same bait twice. But this is Bangin' Lures, the Bass Assassin. This is Watermelon Red color. These are a little bigger, a little bit longer than the Elastex. See if I can get them open, I'll show you. This might be a little bit of a longer video, um, for this type of video at least, just because I have so much stuff. But I hope you uh, stick around and enjoy it. 
and are as passionate for tackle and punching as I am. This is more of a beaver style, so these come connected. Excuse me, but you can uh, pull them apart if you try really hard. All right, no, they are pulling apart. Yeah, no, they're not. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Okay, we got them apart. So this is like a beaver style. Um, that same kind of color as the California Crawl. It's that watermelon red. Um, the California Crawl one from the Z-Man plastics were a little darker. And they packed in way more glitter. But that's the Bass Assassin there. Called the Skunk Ape. The Skunk... Okay, I like it. Anyway, anyway next up... So when you... When you spend a ton of money at Tackle Warehouse, they start including stuff and giving you promotions. So I got these rod sleeves, super cheap. I got three of them um, because I have, I mean, I have more than three rods, but usually I only bring three with me at a time. I'm specifically like, all right, I'm going to do the frog, I'm going to do a weightless Senko, and I'm going to do a swim bait. Three rods, I'm running with it all day. I might change you know, what kind of frog I have or what kind of swim bait I'm using, but those rods really are staying as one one single purpose when I go out. So anyway, three sleeves for that reason. Also, three rod, or sorry, reel covers. Same idea. Next up we have six cents. These are the six cents prawns. These are in the dark water bug color. Open one up and show you here. I've always liked the looks of Sixth Sense, um, and I really like their their branding and their packaging. Oh my goodness, I mean, maybe I don't like their packaging because I can't open it. So they have the same problem that I find with Guggen Baits, I've noticed already, is they have that plastic in inside that's, that's sealed, sealed plastic. Um, it keeps the baits the perfect form, but anyway, this is... A matte black and purple. Oh my goodness. I love it. It's like this uh, this matte purple with a little glitter and then on the back side it's black. It's called the Dark Water Bug. Um, I've been really big into purple baits lately so I uh, kind of went with a lot of purple this time around as well with the flipping stuff. Hopefully purple is the way to go um, this year when it comes to punching. Yeah, six cents. Oh, hold on. I got dark water bug. Apparently I got a different color. This is called grass candy. Okay, same thing, but it doesn't have the black. I mean it has it has like a black core but purple outside. I like that. Pretty cool. Next up I've got these are bruiser baits. Quote unquote fish the best on the label. This is the intruder XGL in purple rain. Like I said, I, I'm digging the purple. Ooh, dirty. These are pretty big. And they it looks like a weapon. This is like I'm weaponizing my rod to slay bass. Purple tipped. Oh, it's got these tiny little danglies. These tiny little dangly legs on it. I really like this. I wish I had this as a mold, honestly. Yeah, once again, that's Bruiser Baits Intruder XGL. The Intruder in Purple Rain, and that's R-E-I-G-N, Rain Metal. Alright, what else we got here? Any more soft plastics? Get the soft plastics out of the way. Alright, we're good on soft plastics. I'm going to organize real quick, get these ready to show you. Two seconds, literally one and a two and a three and a four. All right, so we got. I've got some skirts, punch skirts. Um, There's really not much to say there. You put them peg, sinker, skirt, hook. Um, I got a bunch of different colors, uh, mostly peanut butter and jelly colors, and then uh, some some black black-ish colors, all uh, like bluegill colors. Um, I really like the PB&J color though. Just that tiny bit of purple in there with the bluegill colors. I don't know. It's something about the purple this year, guys. I don't know what it is. I got some 
Evolution Punch Pegs. They're basically a sinker stop specifically for punching, so they're extra long, extra tight, and they'll handle the, uh, the big one ounce, one ounce weights. I've got some weights. Speaking of weights, I have... What did I buy? <laughs> what did I buy? Alright, we'll start smallest to biggest here. VMC flipping weights. These are one ounce. Um, they're tungsten. They're one ounce. I went for them. VMC I've used in the past, not flipping or punching rather. Um, obviously, because I've never punched before, like I said. But, uh, you know, VMC hooks are alright, so screw it. I'm going to go with the, uh, with the, uh, the sinker as well. Alright, here's some weights. I got one and a half and two ounce. These guys are actually my sponsor. These are Titan Tungsten. Um, they're actually not my sponsor at all. They're, I'm on their pro staff. Um, I, I love Titan Tungsten. They work so well. And they're a sister company with Falcon Hooks. The Falcon Hooks work so well. Um, if you check in my description, you will see a link to Titan Tungsten. And you can sign up for an account. You get a discount. I get a kickback. Same thing with Falcon Hooks. You get a discount. I get a kickback. They are both incredible. And I'm not saying this just because I'm on Pro Staff. I'm literally on their Pro Staff because they're incredible. That's how it works. It's not the other way around. Anyway, those are the weights taken care of. I have hooks as well. I went with uh, like a straight shank with uh, the keeper on them. Gamakatsu, if I said that properly. I got 3 aught and 4 aught. Dirty, dirty punching and flipping hooks. Uh, can't really go wrong with Gamakatsu. They're super strong, super sharp, last forever until you hook them in a tree, and that's the end of it. I got two jigs. They're both one and a half ounces. One is in Bama Bug and one's in Green Pumpkin. I've never heard of anybody punching with a jig. These are one and a half ounce punching jigs. They have a super huge weed guard. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna text pose one of those creature baits on it um, and trim back that weed guard. But either way, I'm gonna try it out. Like I said, I've never punched before. I'm going to play with them, see what happens, see what works, and go for it. Suffix. Um, I fell in love with Suffix this year because they had that bright, high-vis yellow braid. Um, I've been tearing it up on my frog and rod right now with that braid. This is in green, being that I'm punching. I kind of wanted to go with more of a natural color, just in case. Um, but this is 65-pound Suffix. Also, you, Suffix, you guys want to sponsor me? Hit a boy up. I, I love your line. I love it. I also buy that Japanese stuff, too. Um, I forget exactly what it's called. Like, JPX or something like that. I like those, too. They gave me a free t-shirt. Tackle Warehouse. Free sticker. Tackle Warehouse. And that's it, man. Um, this was a $700 order. And aside from these uh, Monster Bat... Is it Monster Bass? Mega Bass. I keep getting confused with Monster Bass. Anyway, aside from these mon uh, Mega Bass frogs, it was all for punching. And I'm going to be throwing this on my punching rod. Believe me. Anyway, thank you for sticking around. If you're still here and you haven't subscribed, even though I asked you to subscribe earlier, please subscribe. I, I hate asking, and I have to do it every video, because if you don't ask people, they're not going to do it. You have to ask for a sale. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm literally selling my services here, and it's free to subscribe, so please hit the button. I don't know where it is, over here, down there, over there. Either way, hit the button. Please subscribe. Comment if you liked it. If you didn't like it, let me know what I did wrong. Um, I know this was kind of weird. I don't, I don't, I'm not doing a script or anything. I'm literally pulling this stuff out of a box and explaining it to you, so I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching this far. Have a nice day.